Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial. This week's scrapbook layout is a fun one of me and my father. This one was taken a couple of years ago in the garden for bonfire night, um, 5th of November. So with that being a couple of days away, I thought I would do a bonfire firework themed layout. So we're holding some really crappy, well they're not crappy because they're very good when they're on the cakes, but they're cake, um, fireworks but we didn't have any fireworks and I remember having these left over from my best friend's hen party so <laughs> I said well why don't we use these so we just let them off and I said to mum oh you know quickly take a photo and um, yeah I think she captured a really really lovely picture so I am using a 10 by 10 layout so my black card there is 10 by 10 and then that lovely, like shiny galaxy sky kind of uh, paper is from the Stargazer Simply Creative paper pack. And then I'm just layering and, well, matting and layering my picture here because it's a very dark layout. I wanted, I didn't, and I didn't like that white against the lovely like galaxy. So I'm now framing it again on some black. So it's quite a, a thick, very rigid layout. There's not a lot of dimension to this one. The only real dimension is the photo on the foam adhesive and that's pretty much it. So these are all stuck with glue and then when I actually stick it down later on, I pop it on some foam adhesive, which I always do. But now I just think that really does pop, really stands out and it you know it sits nicer on that layout. There is a bit of glare that keeps catching on this one because of my, my spotlight. And obviously the, the shiny paper I'm using, so apologies through that, but I think it's still okay. So I've got these really fun plastic, very thin plastic letters, and I've had these for ages, really, really long time. And this was just the perfect layout. So it's just one of those, you know, things when, you know, our husbands, partners, whatever, come into our, our craft spaces and like, why have you got this? Oh, you don't need that. You're never going to use it. Yes, you will. These are finally being used in the perfect layout. So... I'm spelling out magical fireworks, so it will. I've got a funny little uh, pun later on through it. Well, not a pun, but you'll see what I do anyway. But yeah, magical fireworks is the title for this layout. And what I'm doing is I'm just doing a rough pencil mark of where I'm going to be putting my photo, because what I'm going to be doing now is I don't have any firework ephemeras, any firework themed stickers, nothing. So I wanted to create some kind of firework background. So I'm using my Tombow tacky glue. You need a tacky glue for this technique because I'm going to be using foils. And I'm basically drawing a explosion, you know, of fireworks on my background here. So I'm just going around and carefully, you know, trying to recreate a firework. Now, this glue does dry quick, but it dries tacky. So it's, it's perfect for this. So I spent a good kind of 20 minutes just going over that background creating these really nice fireworks so just to speed up the glue and just to make sure it has really dried because you do need it to dry you don't want any wet glue still so I'm just using my heat gum and I'm just bringing in my strips of foil any foils you can use any colors so I'm using a silver here and just literally just going over and the tacky glue you can see there will just pull off the foil and, um, and just have it just stuck on that glue and it's just it's a really really fun technique I will share a foil a non a heat non heat needed foil technique <laughs> I've probably said that wrong I've done a tutorial I'll share it at the top but I'm just going over there and you just want to make sure that you can't feel anything sticky if you can then go over again with your foil but can you see there look how cool that is so I wanted to now add colour. So I'm going back over the exact same fireworks and filling in kind of the gaps again with that tacky glue. And um, again, use my heat gun just to get that set, just to speed it up. If you don't have a heat gun, that's fine. Just leave it to dry naturally. It won't take too long. And then I'm coming in now with like a pinky colour. And again, there you can just see if it does stick, that's because it's attached itself to a little bit of the clear foil. So you've already removed the foil. And then I'm just going over all the other corners there and it's you can see now it just starts to really come together and it matches that background so nicely there I love it and then I'm going in again so I'm adding three different colors so again I'm just going over there just filling in all the little gaps 
because again when they when you see a firework kind of explode in the sky you know you see all the different colors so that's what i've tried to recreate again heat set it and then i'm just going over there and this is more of a purpley pink they kind of look like i've used two of the same colors but they are different i'm just going over it there with my hand just to see if i can feel anything sticky and if you can you can see now i've just pulled off some foil and i'm just going over just to make sure and just rub it so so easy and um, yeah really really fun inexpensive way as well to add you know some kind of texture and uh, if you've got plain papers this is a good way to add some some fun to them and some pattern so just you know this is probably key is making sure there is nothing sticky because the last thing you want to do is put this in your scrapbook album it's stick to the page in front I mean I do use um, clear pockets but still so next I have my foiled sellotape so I'm just putting a strip through the middle and then I've got this really fun washi, very thin washi tape, which is kind of like a purpley colour with a white trim. Putting that through the middle and then just both of those just get folded over. The ends get folded to the back. Photo's been mounted there on some foam adhesive and now I'm just putting that nice and straight but towards that bottom left hand corner. And those fireworks behind just look so good. So now I'm just bringing in my T-squared ruler and I'm just going to start to stick down the magical fireworks and I am using glue again to stick them down because they're plastic. I didn't trust them at all lasting, you know, forever just with the adhesive that they come with. So just to help it along. But how cool. Really, really love it. So these are some Rosie Studio um, die cuts and this one said having fun, but I just wanted the, the word fun. So I'm just snipping it off. You can see I've cut it there. That's not stuck down yet. And then I'm bringing in some words. This one here, here it says, this is too much. And then obviously below is the fun. So this is too much fun. So I've just kind of, you know, used up different words there just to create a nice little sentence, a nice saying. And um, again, it's all a little bit jokey because they were, they were, you know, over in about 10 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> the picture makes it look so much different but there I've just um the silver die cut just directly onto the paper didn't look right it needed to be framed so I just stuck it on some black card and fussy cut it so at the moment we've got this is so too much fun and then I've got these really lovely faceted flat back kind of gemstones they're really quite big they're about half an inch in diameter so I've started sticking them on there along with some star foam stickers as well so now I've got some more puffy stickers and this one says woohoo. So we've got woohoo, magical fireworks. <laughs> and then the other one says happy day. So that's just above it. So just all fun, appropriate, you know, little sayings. And then this is the fun bit. So it, they, they weren't magical fireworks at all. Magical fireworks are the ones I've seen at Disney. These were not. So literally I have just stamped the word not. So right below it says Woohoo! Magical fireworks. Not. <laughs> and I just thought it was really good. So now I'm just coming in with my black Nouveau drops and I've done like a kind of wanted like a Milky Way kind of um, effect. So there's just this strip of stars and dots that kind of, you know, run behind the photo and up around the right hand side towards the top and then off to the top left hand side there. So it kind of like, yeah, it's like a strip of just fun, nice, pretty, glittery stars and, and bits and pieces. And I'm using the blizzard one there as well. And you can see it's just so lovely. It's so sparkly, shiny and fun. And I, I love it. You know, I love doing these. <laughs> and it's nice that I get to do the voiceovers and, and talk you kind of through them again because I get to really appreciate it all over again. So there it is. You can see all the close up there, how nice that fun looks just with that black behind it. You can see all the detail there with the faceted flat back kind of gemstones. That's the foam stars. You can see the Nouveau drops, all that dimension. It just looks really, really nice. I put the knot on some foam adhesive as well. And um, like I said, just I think it looks really, really good. So, um, yeah, magical fireworks knot. <laughs> so there you go, guys. I'm going to stop talking now. I hope you've enjoyed this week's scrapbook layout and I'll be back again with another one next week. Thanks for watching. Bye.